Of course, we have a lot of people at CCP that are interested in the concept of virtual reality because we've been making a virtual world uh, for decades. So uh, there's a lot of thinking about that kind of a thing. So when uh, Oculus comes about, and that seems to be a, a very sort of possibility that this is going to happen in our lifetime. Uh, and of course, there's a sort of core to the experiences aiming with your hat, uh, which becomes a very natural thing. Nobody really has to learn it. It just works exactly as you, uh, as you think. And I remember when I uh, sort of tested it for the first time, I got this sort of huge sense of presence. I remember like looking at my own body and, and sort of the immediate sense was like, this is not the shirt I put on this morning. So it's like I believed the simulation more than my own memory of, of, of the clothes I put on in the morning. So the experience was in a way realer, more real than my memory, uh, which I mean, it becomes, I think everyone that's gone into e Valkyrie and tested it out, everyone speaks about the same moment where they, where they look at themselves and, and have that sort of more real than real uh, moment. Yeah, well, it definitely was a surprise, uh, but I mean, we think it's a good thing. Uh, now, uh, a very big company is uh, interested in investing in the space of uh, virtual reality, and we see that as a very positive thing. And sort of the week before, Sony announced their intent to also go and invest in the uh, virtual reality space. Uh, and we have made our own investment with Valkyrie uh, and continue to do that. So. Uh, we think it's a very positive thing and, and hope that this will accelerate bringing about what we have all dreamed about for, for decades. Uh, so uh, we think it's a positive thing, uh, but it definitely was a surprise. It wasn't, we, we had no wind of it. So 